We're at Sugoi Con 2009, and here we have a very familiar face by now. If you don't know him, then I can't help you. You know them. He's Doug Smith. Hello. What's up, Doug? <laughs> no, not much. Um, just doing the Sugoi thing every year on the year. Now, have you done every single Sugoi Con? No, I have not. Um, the first one I was told was in some guy's name, Joe's Garage. Uh, so uh, I've, I, I know Bennett has. He's been to that one. Um, Unfortunately, Bennett's in Japan right now, so he's he's missed what one or two now. Yeah, um, but uh, I don't know. I joined Iron Cat in 2000, and so I guess that was the first one I went to was in 2000. Um, I believe in 2000. Nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten or two out of ten. I I can't remember. I can't recall. It's been so long. Um, but as far as I can remember, I've seen this con grow, and over history, just move to different locations. That's them too. Let's get to some questions about you and your artwork. What you say? Well, what do what people think of my artwork when they see it, or just well, uh, interesting about it? Or I could, do that. I could basically just tell you that. Well, first off, uh, I just have a wide variety of different styles. Um, it, it, it mingles between the anime look, uh, the modern comic book style, and just a, a flair of my own personality in them. Well, of course. Yeah. Um, I think what most people find fascinating is I've heard a lot of people say I like, they like the way I draw eyes, and I guess that draws them in. And there's a, there's a certain cute factor about it, too. Um, but it's not always a win situation for everyone. I mean, most of my artwork is pinup stuff. And uh, a lot of it is, uh, deals with uh, my own personal likes. Um, and I can cater to everybody's likes and needs, so I do personalize art pieces for everyone that does want a particular style or a certain look. I mean, again, you are the artist, and it wouldn't be quite your art if you didn't put a bit of yourself into it, right? Correct. Uh, I kind of throw in uh, a lot of what I see around me, or if it's people that influence me, or something that I like, it'll find its way into my work. So I get a lot of people saying, that's Chung Lee, that's uh, Felicia from Doc Suckers, you know. And I'll say, no, it's not. You know, it's my own representation, and it looks very similar. So those are the influences, you might say. Uh, oh, you took it down. The, the one display book of uh, the 8x11 prints. Uh, blocking the camera here. But, uh, but uh, I noticed some new, some new pictures in there. One of them, towards the back, oh, yeah, are very, very lifelike. I've been doing a lot of lifelike uh, portraits here, so showing that right there. Do you do, do, you do those on commission? Uh, I can. Uh, not many people ask for them, uh, but when I first debuted these pieces, I had them flat out on the table, and people thought they were photographs. I was like, no, they're not photographs, they're drawings. So it pretty much stopped them in to where they had to like zoom in on it. So. Peter's taking pictures. Trying to get some like photos here of the work. Hope you copyrighted your stuff, man. Oh yeah, yeah. totally. But uh, you have my permission to use it in film, so otherwise we wouldn't be doing this. So, but um, no, this is a, just a couple of stuff I've done. Uh, the newer stuff, you know, being in the front. Um, and they're scattered about, you know. Interesting. Right. Exactly. If you put it all at the beginning, then they would just stop once they saw the stuff they haven't seen. Right. Exactly. That, one, that one's new that one's a new one. These were this one was a commission. That one was uh, just a piece I just did on my own. But it's appropriate for this. But weekend. it's appropriate for this weekend. Considering it's Halloween weekend. Exactly. Exactly. So. Now, what items that feature your artwork will you be selling here this weekend? Um, items on with my artwork on. I'm putting, of course, my stuff here. Um, but I've also done uh, a special Segoy 10th anniversary uh, shirt, uh, but that doesn't go on sale to the fandom. It goes to the staff of this con. So basically, it's like a, uh, it's my way of saying thank you for Segoy for the 10 years, but I can't take all the credit. This was all Nate, Nate Burke's, uh, the con chair's uh, idea. And so I aided in making that a, a, a reality and, you know, well, um, Have you handed them out yet? No. Uh, in fact, uh, I was told they're coming in today sometime a little bit later. Um, but uh, I don't have anything. It's, 
to show you how it would look. So you'll just have to wait to see on Sunday. We'll have to see if we can get some po uh, pictures, snaps, and we'll put them up on our website. Totally, totally. It's um, I've shown it to some of the staff. A lot of the other staff don't know, but the key staff that do know about it like it. Exactly. So it's supposed to be a surprise. Is it going to be color, or is it basically kind of like black? Shirt. Okay. It's on T-shirt. Cool. Will it be black T-shirt or white T-shirt? What color T-shirt will it be? I believe it's going to be a white shirt because the artwork is done with black, you know, line work. Gotcha. But it's something uh, I hope the staff will like and enjoy. We will look for it later on today, if not tomorrow. Now, uh, for those who like what they see in the way of your artwork but can't afford it perhaps this weekend or want something a little bit specialized, whatever have you, they want to order something, where do they go online? They go to DougSmithArt.com, and at the bottom you'll see a little floating widget. That's my online store. Um, I'll, in the later in the year or of early of next year, I'll be reformatting it to uh, modernize it and update it, so to speak. Um, I like to refresh every now and then. It's been a while since I'm, I've messed with my site, but I have uh, piggybacked off a site called Zazzle and uh, made a little online store. So from this to what my, my site looks like now, I I'm, I'm plan on making it better. So now what other items can they purchase online that you don't necessarily sell at the cons? Um, basically my artwork. T-shirts, though? Mugs? Anything like that? Yeah, that's stuff you can find on the site. Uh, for here, like, you can get lenticular prints okay. here, uh, little badges that I do, um, as well as, you know, uh, prints. I have prints as well, but you can also get them online. As, uh, and the, the website really holds a lot more because I can't always bring stuff. There's only so much you can schlep to one. Exactly. Especially when you have to fly. Is, is so, but those who do come by my table and do like my work, I'm more than happy to oblige them. Time, or in the near future, uh, is there any projects that you've got planned that you can talk about? Uh, I'm just recently getting back into uh, comic book work again. Oh. Uh, I'm working for a small company out of uh, Austin, Texas called Outlaw Entertainment. Okay. You can find them at www.outlawentertainment.com. So it's outlaw dash entertainment.com now can you give us any hints as to what kind of genre um it's basically um modern day you know sci-fi stuff sci-fi fantasy it's more like um uh, sitcom type deal so, you know a little, little bit on the sci-fi side you might say yeah a little bit on the sci-fi side racial comedy um there's probably some little humor in there well you with the storyboard too or just the art? I'm doing the art. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's not my original story design, gotcha. but uh, I did do the art. I'm doing the art for it. Do you think you ever would branch out into doing part of the story as well as the artwork? I'm not much of a writer, but if I ever do, it's going to involve more uh, visual storytelling as opposed to written storytelling. But my writing skills are very minimal. And maybe one day I, oh I know, but I will I will try my best to write a story occasionally sometime in the future. I don't know if in the near future, but depending on how things go. Uh, but that's pretty much uh, my current work right now. Awesome. We'll be looking at that website then to see see catch up. Now when will that be out though? How soon can we see that? Oh, uh, it's probably sometime later next year. Are they going to do one big thing, or is it a webcomic type thing? It's a graphic novel. Okay, it's going to be a graphic novel. Right, and I, I'm not sure yet, but it may be a digital comic they can buy online as well. Okay. Okay, um, but you would have to check out the website over at Law Entertainment and, uh, and see how that turns out. We will. Well, we'll let you get back to your commissions, because I'm sure you've got a couple lined up. Oh, I do, I do, yeah. Take a break. This was a nice little break. Yeah. Well, good. Give your hand a little rest so you don't get carpal tunnel stiffness. Oi, oi, oi. But um, thanks for letting us talk to you again, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, Doug.